Hello, my name is Erin Lurch, my pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I wrote the play Pinch Point, um, and I'm currently on a boat off the coast of Antarctica. Names are kind of a tricky thing for me, for Pinch Point. I was just thinking about the names in this play. Paladin's the only one who came with a name. Um, the others I kind of figured out as I went. Um, and I was kind of just searching for the ones that felt right for the characters. Um, and keeping in mind that this is a post-apocalyptic world, um, and a lot of these characters are trans, so they may have chosen their own names, um, or they may have been given their names, and the names that they have may not really be names that you see a lot today. Paladin, like I said, was the only one who came with the name. Um, I was just thinking about, like, somebody whose purpose is to protect. I frequently write in mid- and post-apocalyptic worlds because I think it is a common experience of my generation to feel like the world is ending in slow motion. Um, so sometimes it kind of feels like we're already there. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, and I think there's something inherently hopeful about the genre of post-apocalypse to me because the world ended and something's still going. There's still people, there's still stories, like it's not over even though the apocalypse has happened. Um, so to me, there's an inherent hope in that. Um, and so I like to write stories set in those, in times that seem really dark about characters that still um, manage to find hope and connection. Predominant themes in Pinch Point um, and in a lot of my work have to do with like free will, choice, compassion when it's really hard. Um, I am often exploring um, violence because uh, I think a lot of, especially post-apocalyptic work, um, assumes violence is like the natural progression and is the natural tool that people would use, but I am interested in exploring, you know, choices other than violence, even when they mo might be really hard. I would hope that audiences would take away just remembering that even when it is dark and when it is hard, there are spots of hope to be found and there are choices you can make besides hurting other people to get what you need. Sorry, I thought I saw an animal.